What would you prefer? The Ergo 5 or the Bose hearing aids? Would you prefer something that's small and goes in your ear canal or something that sits up and behind your ear? How about the price? What about sound quality? What about rechargeable batteries and Bluetooth? My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. In this video, I will cover the details of the pros and cons and comparing Ergo versus Bose to understand what are some of the best online hearing aids available and what are the benefits that you can expect if you were to spend your money on either of them. Thank you for being here on my YouTube channel where I specialize in hearing aids, hearing loss, and tinnitus. If you're not already, please go ahead and find that subscribe button. Ah, there it is, the red button underneath this video. And if you press that subscribe button, you will have all of the videos coming to you through YouTube. It does help out my channel and I would appreciate it. Let's start with the differences in style between Ergo and Bose. The Ergo hearing aids are small, discreet. They go deep in the ear canal and they have a semi-open fitting, meaning that they're not fully occluding or blocking your ear canal. From the side, you really can't see them. Unless you're looking closely, you might see a little clear fishing line looking thing, which allows you to pull it out of your ear once it's in the right position. The Bose sound control hearing aids are following the more traditional style of sleek, modern, small hearing aids with a thin wire going alongside the face, a rubber tip inside the ear canal, and then a body of the hearing aid, the electronic components up and behind the ear. How about cost? The Ergo 5 hearing aids are about 3000 and the Bose sound control hearing aids are about 900. So the Ergo hearing aids are over three times more expensive than the Bose sound control hearing aids. Which one is best for sound quality? Well, this gets a little tricky. When we define sound quality, what we know is that when we measure your hearing properly and we can adjust and fine tune a hearing aid to your hearing profile, then you're very likely to have good sound quality as long as the engineering and the manufacturing of the sound is matching the range of hearing that you need. Consider it like this. If I have a glasses prescription, then I'm going to see the best with the right prescription. But if I'm a few levels off with my vision, I'll still see better, but it won't be as clear. The clarity of speech is what we're after, and that's why it's important to understand the nuances of sound quality. First, let's talk about a hearing test. Well, neither Bose nor Ergo allows me to submit an audiogram from an in-person clinic that they can use to program the hearing aids. Instead, they have their own proprietary hearing tests that are inside their app and that play a hearing test through to the devices in your ear. There have been studies that show most individuals with mild to moderate degrees of hearing loss can take those online hearing tests through the app, through the hearing aids, what's called in situ or in situational hearing test, and do pretty well with self-fitting the devices. However, if you were to get that test wrong, if something was to go wrong, if you were to not understand how it all works, then you could have the wrong setting in the hearing aids and therefore not be hearing so clearly thinking those hearing aids don't work. None of this hearing aid technology works. I'm just gonna wait and do this later when my hearing's worse. We do not want that to happen. That is bad. We want you to preserve the health you have. Healthy hearing is a healthy brain and we want you to be healthy for as long as possible. For sound quality, think of it this way. As long as you have a mild to moderate degree of hearing loss, you'll probably be okay and perceive good sound quality from either the Ergo 5 or the Bose sound control hearing aids. If you've worn premium hearing aids, like for example, Phonak or Oticon, two well-known common brands of premium hearing aids that cost thousands more than the ones that I'm referring to here, then you're likely to think that the Ergo and the Bose don't sound as good as the premium hearing aids. That's my opinion from what I've seen, from reading people's reviews, from talking to professionals. As a professional community, we're not expecting these online hearing aids to be the same level of sound quality as the premium options that are fit in a clinic. However, they still have a place, and if you're getting them for a significant reduction in price or they're much less expensive, then it may be worth it. It may be the right value for you. Now let's talk about rechargeable hearing aid features. The Ergo 5 lasts for about 16 hours, so a full day's use, and you can recharge it every night. The Bose sound control hearing aids drum roll please, are using disposable batteries. Why is that? I honestly don't know. They are only $900, so it's not the worst thing, but 
We of course want rechargeable electronics instead of having to deal with small disposable batteries. And especially if you're someone who has trouble putting small pieces of technology together, then those batteries could cause trouble. And finally, Bluetooth. Between the Eargo 5 and the Bose Sound Control hearing aids, neither of them can stream Bluetooth from my phone to my ears. You might be thinking, Dr. Ben, I want Bluetooth to my hearing aids and experienced hearing aid users are typically touting the excellence of Bluetooth streaming capabilities. Let's say you're comfortable or familiar with AirPods. Well, you can stream music, you can take phone calls through the AirPods, and that's what you're expecting from anything that goes in your ear nowadays. But the Bose sound control doesn't do that. The EarGo 5 doesn't do that either. For different reasons, the EarGo 5 is so small and it's deep inside your ear that from an engineering perspective right now, it's not possible to get that Bluetooth signal consistently through the phone. That may change in the future. For the Bose sound control hearing aids, I think they were just trying to make a, a simple, more standardized, fundamental version of what a hearing aid can provide instead of adding bells and whistles like Bluetooth technology. A few other considerations here. Eargo does hire audiologists and hearing professionals. Bose does not, unfortunately. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist and founder of Treble Health. Our audiologists are independent, brand agnostic, professionals who can meet via video consult in the telehealth model. Our team stays educated with the whole market of hearing aids from those premium in-person clinic options all the way through the different levels of online options for hearing aids. I wanna make it clear that hearing people, hearing your family, hearing conversations, hearing soft voices, hearing in group situations or restaurant, this is all important part of life and we want you to have the best advantage possible to live your best possible life. Thank you for watching this video here on my YouTube channel. I take great pride in making these educational videos. If you appreciated this, please find the thumbs up button and press it. It's the equivalent of saying, hey, Dr. Ben, thanks for making that video. So find that thumbs up button, press it. If you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on the side here, I will explain another video which you may find interesting, which walks you through the pros and cons of Apple AirPods Pro and the Apple AirPods for hearing loss and tinnitus. That's a very cool video that a lot of people enjoy and I hope to see you there. Thanks again and I'll talk to you soon.